So, Patrick, now over to you. So first of all, hats off to China. I have to say, every, every time I see a presentation by a Chinese company working on methanol or a Chinese auto company working on methanol, I'm impressed and astounded. The, 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 the pace at which China has moved to embracing methanol is, is just simply astounding. We know that already, if we look at the actual numbers, including illegal blending, they're probably around 10% of the transportation fuel supply is already methanol. That's including illegal blending that's going on. And, and that's in a very short period of time. So projecting this forward is, is just amazing. And, and methanol has a huge clean air benefit for China also, because China cares about breathing, right? The, 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 that's the primary concern. The, in, in, in fact, it's also a concern for regime stability, if I'm not mistaken, that people can actually breathe properly and breathe well. We did a report together, U.S.-China Transportation Fuel Cooperation, the U.S. Energy Security Council and the China Energy Fund Committee of Bilingual Report um, a few years back, recommending how U.S. and China can move together on these issues. What is your dream when you listen to all the folks in this room, when you think of the, of the, of the potential? What is your dream when you look at this issue? Well, um we all know that methanol is very important for China's overall development for a few reasons. Number one is energy security issues. Because right now, China is dependent upon 67 to 68% of its oil being imported. So it cannot afford it to be more, I mean, insecure in that way. And China's, on the other hand, the number of vehicles in China is rapidly increasing. And right now, the last census I read, China has over 170 million vehicles, automobiles. All right, hundreds. And they all use gasoline. And they consume about 55% of China's gasoline. And, even, and, and, it, and it will be increasing. And China needs a way to address that. That's number one, is energy security issues. The second one is environmental issues. Because the gasoline is, you know, all sort of uh, emission standards and also all sort of pollutions. And we need an alternative fuse that's cleaner. Uh, cleaner in the sense that it does not emit as much, uh, much less PM 2.5. What really, really has it as to human's health may not be CO2. CO2 is for next generation to consider. It's the SOX. It's the NOx. But most importantly and most devastatingly, is PM 2.5. With methanol, there's no PM 2.5 because you burn everything. So it's clean in that respect, and it is affordable. It's affordable because China has a lot of coal. A lot of coal is being used to generate electricity, to generate natural gas, but a lot of coal is also generating also the, of the, oh, is it dirtier modalities of coal, called coke, called uh, coke oven gas with high sulfur content, all these things. If you burn these things, it will be devastating to the atmosphere and for pollution as well. But if you, you can also turn these coke, o coke oven gas into methanol and burn it very cleanly. So it's a way of addressing the coal transformation and, co and, 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 and a way to help China to use the coal more efficiently in that way. So in many ways, you know, methanol development is important for China to address its, its impending problems. So what I see is that methanol presents itself as a sustainable, as an efficient, and, and also as a, as a cleaner and also affordable alternative fuel to answer to today's uh, uh, transportation problem. And also beyond that, because of the uh, 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 methanol economy, we can talk more about that too. And I think methanol is particularly suited for China and China's development and China should really uh, position itself to be exemplary to the world in spearheading a, 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 a methanol economy in that respect. Yeah. So I look forward to what I look forward to will be is today when we are talking about methanol, we are talking about, we were considering a cheaper alternative fuel, which would be called gasoline. 
there'll be the day. <laughs> there you go. Just like uh, in 2008, gasoline actually became an alternative fuel in Brazil. They used more ethanol than they did gasoline because ethanol on a per mile basis was, was cheaper. You know, and at just one point, I think it boggles the mind to a lot of Westerners when they realize that methanol made from coal in China actually cleans up the air as compared to gasoline or diesel made from petroleum. That's right. Because with the, with the coal, you can, you, can, you can burn it in different ways. Okay? I'm not a chemist, but I, I, I use the, <laughs> the layman terms in explaining to you how coal is being used in China. It's three different ways. One is liquefaction. Okay? Uh, uh, by coal into liquids. Coal into liquids, a lot of these liquids is going to be methanol, DME, naphthalene, and all those things. The other way is, is gasification, using coal and burning it into gas. But with gas, you can also condense it, liquefy it, and then you get methanol as well, and DME and methanine and olefin and all those things. The third way is cooking. You just burn it with oxygen. But with that cooking, you get a variety of different products. You get pet coke, you get uh, coke oven gas, and you get, get uh, all sort of benzene derivatives of, of, of those things. And they can also generate methanol in that respect. So there are various ways of using uh, coal, and coal is plentiful in China. It's affordable in China. I think it, 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 it defies all logic to ask Chinese not to use coal. My, my goal is that at the next methanol conference, we also have someone from India, from the Indian government, <laughs> who will talk about how methanol is becoming a, a, a ubiquitous fuel in India because of the huge economic and clean air potential. Because when you think of the Tata Nano, if you're going to make a Tata Nano that's affordable and runs on non-petroleum fuel, really your only option is methanol. That's your only option. All right, so with that, thank you very much.